Hey, what's going on YouTube and diecast fans? So, I'm gonna try something here. Got this little bug. Um, got these wheels here just for now. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a ladybug. That's what uh, was suggested. Uh, we try a ladybug. I think that would look pretty cool. I am waiting for some monoblock uh, wheels. They're red, so once uh, we do the the painting and everything and the wheels come in, I'll be able to put everything together and hopefully it looks cool. So this is pretty much the 2018 version, uh, the one with the checkers. We stripped it down. You're not really missing out on anything with stripping down. Uh, there's plenty of references out on YouTube, so I didn't want to bore you with that process. Uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll show my my own way of doing it, but for the most part, it's no different than everybody else. I have the um, bottom piece already set. Uh, I have one screw in there. Uh, the other one's already tapped and everything, ready to uh, for the work. Matter of fact. Alright, so very simple process here. We're just gonna take this off. And that's it right there. But um the main part there, the body. Got the windshield, of course, the base, and the uh, seat cover. Uh, for the base itself, all I did, uh, I did have to take the other tires off. These are metal, so I just took a clip the tires off. I was not going to use them anymore, the ones that I, the original ones. So I just took those off, and then I took a saw and sawed right down the center. That way, it was uh, equal across the board. Pretty much just went down, didn't really remove too much from there. As far as this goes here, uh, everything's been taken care of. Probably going to take it over, give it a polish so that when we uh, put on that red paint on there, it gives it a better, better look, better style. Right, we'll go ahead and move on to polishing. All right, so we're back. We got the polishing compound, and all I do, I take this mother's uh, mag and then polish. I uh, put a dab here in the uh, main body. Oops. I readjust the camera here. Okay. So I take a rag. So take a dab and just pretty much. Uh, go around. Uh, this here requires some elbow grease, not a big deal. I think we got plenty of that. So, so nothing, nothing bad. We just take that polishing compound, uh, rub it around with elbow grease, and try to take that haze off of that metal. Metal. So, just continue. Go around the entire outer portion of the vehicle of the casting until we have most of it off. So I'm not going to go ahead and bore you yep. with the rest. And as you can see, uh, already starting to get some nice shine right through there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the car, and we'll, when we bring it back, it's going to have a really nice uh, shine to it. All right, so we are almost done with the polishing. Uh, look at this nice shine right here. Still got a few stubborn spots. Uh, sometimes the elbow grease uh, doesn't help. So when that happens, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here with the light that I have. But I got some uh, dull spots here, some back here, again down here. So when that happens, I enlist this guy right here, All right? A little Dremel. All right, we'll, we'll try our best here. So. Okay. All right. Clean up here a little bit, and here we go. Apologize for the noise. Here we go. Easy. 
See there, buddy? Easy. Now, I'm trying to get you the best possible video here. It's kind of difficult from my angle. Hopefully you can see some of this. But I don't want it to be too blurry. So, I will be right back. I'm going to go and give this bad boy a quick wash. All right, so we're back from the wash, and this is what we ended up with right here. Very nice, clean polish. It's looking really good. Almost, you can see the reflection there, so definitely a uh, very good product. The Mother's uh, Magnum Aluminum Polish it really works well. Uh, this is not an advertisement for them. I just like using the product because it works very well, as you can see here. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the primer stage. And I don't have a uh, airbrush, so all my spraying is done with uh, can rattle cans. The consistency that's coming out is good. All right, once we feel good, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a light coat, just like so. I'm gonna get the undercarriage as well, more on the back. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and twist this here so that we can get this angle and we can keep the camera lens clean. Definitely don't wanna get anything on there, right? All right, so just a light pass. The bottom. Okay, all right, it looks like we need a little bit here in the uh, hood. Mr. Ladybug, here we go. All right, looking good now. Now typically I'll spray it down, let it dry, and I'll look it over, look at uh, any imperfections. If, the, if it does have any imperfections, I'll sand them down with a thousand uh, grit sandpaper. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the back to make sure that, oh, there we go. So we need to do one more pass here. All right, steady, steady you. All right, here we go. All right, well, we let that dry. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what's in the package. And you, some of you might wonder uh, what's in there, or uh, what's so important. So, went on eBay, got a few red lines. This, this is the uh, first of many um, that I ordered. I will open the other ones eventually, and hopefully we, hopefully I have some subscribers so I can share this with the, the rest of you. Uh, it's exciting for me, uh, again, I. Didn't know a whole lot about red lines other than uh, the police car that I showed on my first video, the cruiser. Uh, did not know what red line was. I started doing research and I actually do like the whole concept and uh, just kind of collecting them. Uh, this is just my personal collection that I want to build upon. They are not for sale, will not be for sale. So now let's go ahead and take a peek in there. Alrighty, so what? Hmm. What's inside here? Let's pull it out. Okay, so wrapping. Interesting. And let's do a little drum. There we go. Let's get the drum roll going. And a little more suspense. We can see a little bit of the body here. Again, this is exciting. This is one of many um, that I will be showcasing. Can't wait to get this, this guy out. Where are you at? All right, let's get in there. Enough with that suspense, drum rolls over. Alrighty, so here we have it. First of many. Now, it is not in pristine condition. Uh, we know that, obviously from looking at it. 
my goal is not to get uh, all of them in pristine condition. I just want to start a collection, uh, save them up. Eventually, maybe we'll restore them. I don't know. I'm actually, you know, I get scared working on these just because I don't want to ruin the originality of these castings. But in time, as my skill level goes up, then we may bring, bring this bad boy along with some of the other ones uh, to the table and do some, some cool All right, work so on them. so our ladybug is back from getting primered. Uh, things dry. Uh, this is the next day, so I didn't have time to work on it earlier in the day. But did the uh, sanding with uh, 1000 grit uh, wet sand. Overall, came out good. Uh, it is very smooth. Uh, I know it, it looks a little grainy. Yeah, see if I can refocus the camera here. It's not gonna work. It's right there. Alright, so now we're gonna All right, so you're probably wondering what the heck just happened. So I was doing the taping and uh, a lot of the primer just kinda came off. So that's not a thing to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and re-sand it, take everything off, get it back to bare bones, and once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and re-primer it. I'm definitely not going to put that on here. You've already seen the primer in piece. Alright, so the primer, for some reason, it just did not work, so I went with this silver color right here. It's a primer and paint mix, so it sticks to the casting very well. All right, so we went ahead and tested out the white paint on there. Uh, like, came out all right. I'm gonna take a quick look right here. There you go, got a few stains here, but that's all right, we'll clean those up before we hit the next coat. I think it's looking good. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. But, that's a little splash right there, not a big deal. Again, we'll wipe it off and we'll continue adding more, more stuff to it until it comes out the way we want it. We'll work through things, eventually if we figure them out, we'll, we'll get them. And that just adds to the skills that um, all of us would do stuff like this, customizing. Yes. All right, so hopefully my camera doesn't die. It has been dying on me, uh, the battery or the chip, something's weird going on. I haven't used this DSLR in a while. So uh, I was not able to capture some of the other footage uh, as good as I wanted to but we'll do our best uh, hopefully with this one. As you can see, I've already taken the little ladybug, gave it its black dots. You can't see them yet, but they're there all right. And now it's still, it's good, but I'm afraid that if I tape it up to add the final color, which is gonna be red, that it's gonna pull the paint right off, kind of like it did for the, the white paint. Uh, right, there it is. It's all taped up. Ready for the final coat. As you can see, I cut up some pieces of the tape so that it can simulate the ladybug's dots. Uh, they're not symmetrical, they're just pretty much placed throughout the casting. Try to do equal, some, equal amounts on both sides. Covered up the hood, looked up some ladybug picks and part of their head is it's white on the sides here and black here. Black dots and then red. All right, so the red is on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry before we remove any of the tape. Hopefully some of the other paint doesn't come off with the tape itself, but I have my hopes up. Check this out, came out real good. Now we just gotta wait for it to completely dry and then we'll go ahead and remove the tape. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that the paint doesn't get removed from the other colors, the black and the white, and the red, of course. Hopefully everything works out well. We'll just have to wait and see. Right, we're going, we're taking off the, the tape. Make sure my hands are a little cleaner. You can already see the dots right there. It looks pretty cool. A little bit of stain right up here, but it's all right, it'll blend right in. carefully remove everything 
so that we avoid taking any of the uh, paint off. All right, here's a moment of truth. Nice and slow. Okay. So far it's it's good. A little bit of stain here, but we're not gonna worry about that. This is freaking awesome. Check this out. It's my first one, so not bad. Like I said, you come up with an idea, you try it out. Sometimes things work and other times things don't go as well as you want them to go, but I take it as a learning experience. Once I put the clear coat on this, it should look pretty, pretty good. Okay, we're gonna be careful here. I'm gonna grab the tape. And try not to remove any of the tape from the casting, any of the paint from the casting, rather. There we go. Oh boy, that looks freaking great. Just amazing. All right. Okay. Now, you're probably never going to see a Volkswagen Beetle uh, dressed up like a ladybug. If you do, let me know or send me some pictures. But I do know one thing is that I have my own custom ladybug beetle. Thus far, it's looking pretty good. I wish that primer had worked a little bit better and the coat of paint wouldn't have been so thick, but live and learn, live and learn. Oh, easy. All right, I think, yep, got one more to go. Well, you just look at that beauty. Isn't that cool? So if you go online, look up some images of ladybugs, you'll see, for the most part, they have white around here. There's a, just about every one of them has a little black right here. Of course, the wings, I didn't create that line. Um, I think we'll be all right without that. Okay, last one. Be a little careful here. Last one's always a scary one. Go ahead and grab a rag and don't want to risk anything here. Hopefully I didn't take much from the uh, picture here. All right, here we go. All right, so I guess we're going to have to do a drum roll. Go ahead. Have to grab it from the bottom here. There we go. Okay. There it is. All right. I am impressed. I was not expecting this. I am in the process of getting a airbrush gun. Hopefully that will help me out when I spray my, my customs. I've never really used one so it's going to be a painful experience but if you have tips please put them down in the comments. You see a little bit of the paint running here. It's alright. You know what? I like it. Alright so our ladybug is back from paint. It's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, this video took forever to make. Uh, I was expecting to get it done within two to three days at the most. But it's been almost a week and that's just kind of putting it aside and waiting for 
paint to dry and just different things. Now the good thing is that my wheels came in and I have uh, two options here that I'm considering. Now the option one is going to be to go with these red ones here. Now the reason I want, might try these out is just because of the uh, the red. It will complement the rest of the, the body on the casting. But then again, I might be wrong. So we'll go ahead and try those on here in a minute and see how that looks. We're not going to do the full install. We're just going to put them on inside the wheel well and see how that works. And the other option is just to go with uh, just black. Give it some racing type kind of wheels. Now I'm sure the ladybug's ready to take off and go for a spin. Um, so we'll go ahead and give that a shot. See which one of the two works best. We'll Alright, so here's option one. Looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Alright, we'll go ahead and try option two. Alright, here's option two. Not bad at all. So I'm thinking that I might go with these babies right here. They definitely make it stand out a lot more, I think. Uh, but then again, please let me know. Put it down in the comments. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the final assembly. And we might even take it for a spin. See how that goes. Check this out. Rolls and everything. Yep. Check out that bad boy. Now we have a ladybug on our custom lineup. Pretty cool one too. Thanks to my wife and her creative thinking, we were able to make this come alive. Definitely a fun project. Took a, a lot longer than what I wanted it to take. It's all right. The important thing is that here we are at the end, and I am certainly not disappointed. All right, let's take a few close-ups. Let's get it as close as possible as we can to the camera. That way you can see everything in a little bit more detail. And that way when you comment, you can give me some, some good information or just how I can do things better. I know that as, as far as the spots go on the ladybug, I could have uh, just done the whole body red and then done some decals but I wanted to try this method uh, with the paint it looks great on there especially after I put the clear coat uh, everything blends in pretty nice aside from a few minor mistakes which uh, you, you can see here I'll continue to point that out but it gives it a little bit of character and character is what we all want to go for Right, so here on your left I have the original casting, nothing wrong with it. Now I'm going to show a quick animation of the two little bugs, the before and after. Of course, this little guy will be coming by first, keep an eye on him. And then this little guy will be following. I hope you enjoy it. So again, please subscribe, support my channel, and give me a thumbs up if you like. Thank you.